Oh my goodness. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey y'all. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me, honey? Child, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Somebody sent me a link and I was just listening to some stuff. Oh my God. Anyway, that ain't even what I came on here for, but ooh, we, ooh, we, ooh, we. All right. What do y'all want to talk about first? Okay. So we here to talk about Lenart, his family, his supporters and Brianna haters and his supporters are Brianna haters, right? Which one y'all want to talk about first? Do y'all want to talk about the supporters all falling the F apart, girl? Do y'all want to talk about the supporters or do y'all want to talk about Lenart first? Which one? Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button, please. Hit the thumbs up button. I am not looking my best right now, y'all. So, look, my husband had me running around acting like a wife. Had to come back and get information. Girl, they beefing hard. You hear me? <laughs> Listen, because they fighting over money. Which one y'all want to talk about first? Tell me that first. Which one do y'all want to talk about first? Let me know. Do y'all want to talk about Lenart, his family, or the supporters first? Which one? She said, yes, let's get the lies out the way. Y'all want to, okay, wait a minute. I'm hearing supporters. I'm hearing the lies. <laughs> Which one y'all want to talk about? Somebody said, just start talking. Okay, listen, I'm going to start talking. First of all, let's talk about, let's talk about the supporters since they're going at it right quick. <laughs> the supporters. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell, I'm a, I'm a, let me tell y'all something. And this is a hundred percent. When you have a team that's built on, um, lies let's just say lies people trying to get ahead people trying to make money people trying to outdo somebody else you're gonna have confusion do you hear me you're gonna have confusion because you know they're coming out and they want to shine they want the spotlight they want to make money they want the supporters see they all share the same supporters right they share the same supporters so they're competing with who who which supporters are going to go on which one of their lives right and because there's so many of them right like there's so many of them so they they compete against times and this that and the other and that is what's causing the confusion and plus they spreading lies they spreading lies and i'm this you know i can go in more about what they got going on right now because they they folding they folding but i had already knew somebody on their side that they don't even realize that already told me that sweet mind lupa fell out and they were beefing. Now they didn't got Ashley D in it. Now they didn't got uh, Rita. Uh, I think it's Rita. Rita. Yeah, the one Rita. They got her in it. So now it's all a big beef or whatever. But anyway, hopefully they work it out. But let me tell you some. I put a list of lies that this whole team that I'm talking about right now, this whole team have shared with their same followers. You got to understand People think it's just a lot of people that's believing the BS that Lenark and his family and supporters have been putting out. But in retrospect, it's the same followers. They just go from, let me tell you, this: these followers, which are about maybe six, seven hundred, maybe even a thousand or whatever, right? Or two thousand, whatever. But they go from content creator. I don't even like calling them content creators, but they go from person to person to person to person listening to the same information, bashing Brianna, harassing Brianna, going after Brianna. It's the same followers listening to the same content. Thank you for that, magician. Thank you for that because that is it right there. It's the same followers. And let me tell you what they're doing. In, in, in the content creator's defense, which, you know, I don't really call them content creators because they ain't really creating no content. They just bashing people. But in their defense, the followers are getting messy. Do you understand what I'm saying? They getting messy. And what they do is they go tell one of the other content creators that this content creator said something about them and so forth and so on. Okay. And then the so-called content creators get jealous when, 
the followers are on their under their video, under their lives, and not under the other person's lives, okay? But they're sharing the same BS. They're sharing uh, the lies. They just keep repeating it, all to bring one girl down, all to bring one girl down. They want her down so bad, right? All to bring one girl down. But what they're missing, the one thing that they're missing, and that's God. And I'm just being straight up when I say this. I ain't no holy roller. I ain't no speaking in tongues type of Christian, but I'm a believer, okay? They're missing that one key, and that is God. They don't understand what they, they think that what they're doing is of God, and it is not of God. It is not of God. And what I mean by that is bashing a young lady, wanting to see her destroyed, OK, because God said vengeance is mine. OK, so it is God's responsibility whether or not he wants to bring somebody down or not. It is not theirs. No matter how many lies they think she's told. Right. No matter how wrong they think she's done somebody. It is not for them to try to bring someone down. So the more and more and more they try to bring her down. God is going to shake up that right there. He did it once and he's doing it again. Pay attention, y'all. I'm telling you, he's doing it again. That is God. That ain't them. They can sit there and say, it's Ashley D, it's Sweet Ma, it's Lupac, it's Rada, it's this person, it's that person. That is God. It is God. And I'm not here to, I'm not here to try to like, you know, get religious on y'all because I'm, you know, I'm, I, I'm a believer, but I'm probably not the type of believer that y'all are. I don't even go to church, none of that stuff or whatever, right? But at the same time, I am a believer and I believe and I try to do the right thing, even though I fall short. And when I fall short, I ask God, get me back straight. And sometimes he has to get me back straight. And sometimes I don't like the way he get me back straight, but it's for my own good. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm keeping it 100 with y'all right now. I'm keeping it 100. That is God throwing a monkey wrench in their shit. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? That is God throwing a monkey wrench in their shit because they are trying to bring down one person. And guess what? We all know we all are children of God, right? They're children of God, just like we're children of God. So why do they think? Why do they think God is going to allow them, allow them to double team and, 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 and double team, not even double team, but just they more than double right but just gang up let's just say that word gang up why do they think god is going to allow them to gang up on one person to try to bring her down to try to bring her down i'm trying to tell you it's not supposed to be like that and god is not going to allow that to happen he may allow it for a certain extent and then guess what he gonna do he gonna throw a monkey wrench in there like he is doing right now he going to throw a monkey wrench in there like he is doing right now. They are attacking one individual, a child of God, whether they like the fact that she's a child of God or not. Guess what? She is just like we are, just like Lenark is and his family and everybody. We are all children of God. And the fact that they are ganging up to try to go against her, God said no. God said no. That ain't y'all responsibility. That's mine. It is my responsibility. If I want to whoop Brianna Hampton, I will whoop Brianna Hampton. You guys are not God. Okay? So you ain't going to bring down nothing unless I want it to be brought down. They, is, it, they can't do it. They tried. You would think, come on now with every freaking thing that they tried. And y'all, I'm getting passionate because listen, Every single thing that they tried has failed. And guess what? They ain't done. They keep on, keep on, day in, day out. One, two, three, four, five. It keeps growing and growing and growing, right? It keeps growing and growing and growing against one individual. And guess what? God is blocking it. Every single jab that they've taken, he's blocking it. And they don't even realize that. So with that said, let's go into some of the lies that they have spread it to these followers that jump from person to person to person to person listening to this. Okay, let me let's go to it. First of all, let me say this. 
that let me say this first and then I go into that. There was a 39 year old lady, okay, by the name of, you know, I did my research. Let me go get her freaking name. By the name of Teresa Norfleet, okay? Teresa Norfleet went on a panel yesterday. She's 39 years old and straight, bold faced lie because she wants the attention of Brianna, okay? So she went on a platform yesterday and spewed a bunch of lies about Brianna, okay? One, she says that Brianna's 35, 34, 35 years old. And guess what? These bloggers, content creators, they useless. You want to know why they useless? Because they don't even try to check her on anything. They just, because they, they have so much hate in their heart for Brianna, they will believe anything, any, anything negative that somebody else says, okay? So she says, Brianna, 34, 35, Brianna just pleaded guilty, okay? Let's be honest. Brianna just pleaded guilty before a judge, right? So they have all of her freaking information. They can clearly just go on there and see that Brianna's birthday is on there. If you do a background check on Brianna, which I have a whole, you know, I, I, I subscribe to the, the background check database, right? So I can pull a background check on anybody. And I've done Brianna. She is 31 years old, just turned 31 in the end of June. But she, this lady is 39, say, saying that she knew Brianna for two months. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is she then lied on Brianna, then spewed all this stuff, all because she wants clout. She wants recognition. She's been emailing and texting, not emailing, but messaging Brianna, this, that, and the other. And because Brianna will not respond to her, because that's what she wants. She wants Brianna to respond to her. And because Brianna is not responding to her, she's getting madder and madder and madder. Now, allegedly, allegedly, it's a friend of Latoya. The girl is 39 and Latoya is 38, okay? It's allegedly a friend of Latoya's that's doing this. Allegedly, okay? But anyway, she, she went on there telling all these lies, all these lies, saying that she was Brianna's childhood friend. So listen to this. Put this in your head. She's Brianna's childhood friend. When she was 16, Brianna was eight. Did you just hear me? When she was 16, Brianna was eight years old. So you tell me what childhood friend does an eight-year-old, or should I say a 16-year-old, is childhood friends with a damn eight-year-old? That don't make no MF and sense. Do, if, when you were 16, did you hang around with eight-year-olds that wasn't your family members, that wasn't your freaking cousins, that your mama and your daddy made you stay over their house? And spend the night? You 16 and you hanging out with an eight-year-old? Are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense, okay? The scariest thing is the panel was believing it. And the audience was believing it. They were like, she's speaking the truth. She's speaking the truth about Brianna. Speaking the truth. She was 16 when Brianna was eight years old. And she said she knew her for two months. Are you kidding me right now? She's 16 and she's speaking on an eight-year-old. And then Rita even tried to give her a bye by saying, well, hold on. They saying there's another Brianna battle that's from, you know, Rocky Mount, this, that, and the other. Are you sure you got the right person? Oh, I know that face and that voice from anywhere. So you 16 and you hanging out with an eight-year-old. You sound dumb as hell. The girl is delusional. And they delusional for sitting there believing her. Okay? And, and, and they hating on her because of what she came out and spoke about the experience, right? The experience that she had in her own six-year marriage behind closed doors that they weren't behind and neither was us. They can't tell this young lady what the hell she went through or she didn't go through because they don't know. But we've already said that and we know this because we smart over here. Them jokers ain't smart. They act like they didn't freaking, there was a fly on the wall or a roach on the floor in their house. She didn't experience that. She didn't do that. She didn't do that. Just sick. They hate her so much. 
They hate her so much that they will sit there and believe a woman that's eight years older, right? 16 years old when Brianna was eight. And she's going to say Brianna lied about her age. How are you going to? So if that's the case, if you can lie about your age, right? So that means I can go into court and tell them I'm freaking 20? The fuck? Come on. Are you kidding me? You think I'm not going to have to prove to the judge that I am who the hell I say I am? I can literally go in there and tell the judge I'm 20 years old? Hell, if that's the case, I'm going to tell them I'm 17 so I won't get charged as an adult. You can't just go to make up a damn age. You can't just make up an age. The hell? These people are delusional. Delusional. She just turned 31. And, and if I had my computer, I would pull up a picture. The girl looked 39. She looked older than fucking 39. Excuse my lingo. But y'all gonna hear some words today. She looks older than freaking 39. She looks like she mid-45. She girl already said she, she hood and she gangster and she this, that, and the other. The girl 39 years old. Saying that she was a childhood friend of Bree. Don't know shit about Bree. If you sat there and listened to her, the woman name is, let me let me get that back up. Somebody just said, what is the woman name? Her name is Teresa, T-H-E-R-E-S-A, Norfleet, N-O-R-F-L-E-E-T, Teresa Norfleet. Teresa Norfleet. Look her up. She look old. She look old. She look older than me. She look older than me. You understand what I'm saying? She's a slick talker, though. If you listen to her, that's it. Thank you, Foxy. If you listen to her, you can tell she's a slick talker. She wants Brianna to call her name out, just like all these other content creators. They want Bri Brianna to beef with them. Do you see how much, how many people went to Chandra's live today when Brianna said something about Chandra? She had 800 people on her live today. That's what she wants. That's what they want from Brianna. They don't care. They want the clout and any way they can get it. They want it. Yes. That's what they want. The clout. They want Brianna to say their name. If you go on Facebook, you will see her picture. Moving right along. Let me go to the next. I'm going to go over some lies that these people. Oh, let me say this first. Brianna needs to sue this chick. And I know she's like, well, they don't have anything. What am I going to, it's going to be useless. I'm going to spend all this money and they don't have anything. What am I going to sue them for? Well, Brianna, you need to sue them so they will never do this again to anybody else. Spend a couple of dollars and sue these people. Sue these people. Sue them just in case they ever come across and get anything. I'm so sick of these people. Stop thinking that just because they don't have nothing is a waste of time. Shut their asses up. Shut them up, because the only thing they're going to do is keep lying and lying and lying. Think about it, Bree. Just think about it. I know they don't have shit, but sue they ass. Sue they ass. All right. Here are some of the lies. Let's go over them. Lie number one. Okay? She slept with a pastor and did a skit with him. Lies, lies, lies. Okay. So she slept with a pastor and did a skit with him. Lies. The man she did that skit with was a guy that she just met in her acting class. In her acting class. Brianna has said she has never slept with a pastor, nor has she ever slept, excuse me, nor has she ever stepped outside her marriage before she was legally separated. That's when he went and filed for a divorce, blah, blah, blah. She's never stepped outside her marriage. So that's a lie. She slept with a pastor and did a skit with him. A lie. It's a freaking lie. But guess what? These, This is what the other side have told their followers, okay? Lie number two. She doesn't have three degrees. Lies, lies, lies. Not only does she have three degrees, she also has three transcripts that goes along with those degrees that she earned from reputable colleges and universities. Now, she was actually going to post her transcripts, and I'm the one that said, don't do it. You don't have nothing to prove, right? 
I told her that. You don't have nothing to prove to these goony ass motherfuckers, right? She don't have nothing to prove to, to these goony ass motherfuckers. But she was going to post her scran uh, transcripts, and I said, no. You don't have nothing to prove to these goony ass motherfuckers, okay? Lie number three. She had a baby at 14. Lies, lies, lies. Okay? Because they said she had a baby at 14 and gave it away. Josh is her first child of three that she had with Deshaun. Okay? The same baby daddy. Josh was her first child. Josh is her first pregnancy and Josh is her first child. She had a baby at 14. Lies, lies, and lies. Again, this is what they spread to their people. Okay? Okay? You're right, Rose. They don't have no damn degrees. Gonna try to check her on her degrees. They ain't even got no damn degrees. Okay? Lie number four. She lied about domestic abuse in her relationship, in her marriage. Lies, lies, lies. In fact, she was mentally verbally, and physically abused by her soon-to-be ex-husband. And we're going to break it down, okay? She was mentally abused because he kicked her and her kids out of her house several times, and they had to go stay in a motel hotel until he calmed the F down, okay? Until he calmed the F down. He belittled her. He degraded her by telling her she wouldn't be shit without him. And no other man would want her after he's done with her. Okay. He controlled her by taking away her keys to the car and access to any money when he didn't like something she said or she did. Okay. He used divorce as a scare tactic to gain control over her, knowing that she was a single mom with three and then single mom with four children, okay? He constantly told her to abort the daughter, their daughter, up until delivery, okay? Up until delivery. He stayed out late, got mad if she questioned his whereabouts. If she asked him, where you been? You said you was going to be home this time. You said you was going to be home that time. He got upset. Flipped the script on her. Made her feel like she was insecure. She was insecure for asking him, her husband, what the hell he been. Okay? Now, verbally abuse. He yelled, cussed, and fussed her out constantly, even in front of the children and sometimes in front of her own friends. He called her awful names like stupid, dumb, bitch, and whore during a disagreement. He left derogatory messages on her voicemail if she did or said something he didn't like. He told his own wife to suck his nasty little ass dick, all because he was upset. All because he was mad during a freaking argument, okay? Physically abuse. He pushed, choked, kicked, and drug her across the floor whenever she would try to run for the door to get away from him. He fractured her finger and caused an intrusion to her scalp while applying pressure on a tote that he put over her entire body all because he was trying to get his phone back after telling her that some chick was in his DM. When she went to go look to find out what the conversation was about, he tussled with her, right? He tussled with her to get the phone back when she ran to get the laptop or the iPad or whatever. He ran after her. He ran after her. He became the aggressor when he ran after her and tussled with her to get his items out of her hand. He then put a tote over her head and applied pressure, trying to secure her. 
trying to capture her and it fractured, which is the same thing as broke in the medical terms, her freaking finger and left a intrusion on her head. Okay. Hold on. He often threatened to punch her in her face. He said things like, oh, contusion. I'm sorry. All right. Contusion to the scap. I'm sorry. Contusion, not contrusion. All right. I messed that word up, y'all. Contusion to the scap. Thank you, Angela. He often threatened to punch her in her face, right? And he even admitted on recording that the reason why he would threaten her is to get her to shut up, back down, stop doing or saying whatever she was saying. But he threatened her, okay? He threatened her. That is a form of physical abuse. If you don't believe me, go look it the fuck up, okay? Go look it the fuck up if you don't believe me. Threats are a part of physical abuse, okay? He threatened to punch her in her fucking face. What husband threatens to punch their wife in their face if they don't stop, okay? He also threatened to put her out on the highway so that she can catch an Uber because his poor little weak ass feelings was hurt because she didn't back down in the car when he called her over 13 bitches. She called him a bitch back and made him feel small. He didn't like that. So he threatened to knock her wig off and put her out on the side of the road so she can catch a fucking taxi or Uber or whatever, right? 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 That is fucking physical fucking abuse to these dumbass motherfucking bitches over there that don't know what fucking abuse is. It is fucking abuse, okay? That's abuse. Threats are abuse. What motherfucking loving husband you know threatened to put your ass out on the goddamn highway because they don't like that you're coming back at them after they didn't call you bitch, 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 bitch. What the fuck is that mean? So because she called him a bitch back, he can't take it. He's mad. He and his fucking little weak ass feelings. He and his fucking little weak ass feelings and want to put her out the car and snatch her fucking wig off because she had the audacity, right? The fucking audacity to say something back to his weak ass. That's abuse, y'all. That's abuse. So when they say that she didn't experience abuse, they don't know what the fuck abuse mean. Okay? He held her. I'm not done. Hold on. He held her against her will several times by locking her in the bedroom while her kids banged on the door, begging and crying for him not to hurt their mommy. Even her now nine-year-old daughter, Lauren, went to school and told the teacher about it. But guess what she did? She covered for his weak ass, okay? Because he was her child, her little, her youngest one father. She covered for his weak ass, even though her daughter, her daughter went to school and told a teacher, had CPS called, right? Had CPS called, and guess what? She saved him. She saved him. Just like she saved him on the day he broke her fucking finger. She saved him. He could be locked up because she has proof that he broke her fucking finger. It says on there, during a, it, was, it happened during a domestic violent incident. She saved him. That is abuse, y'all. But let's go on. We ain't finished. Lie number five. Lie number five. He paid for her surgeries. Lies, lies, and more lies. She paid for her own damn surgeries and his too. So stop with the shit. Stop with the fucking shit, okay? Lie number six. He paid all the bills in the house. Lies, lies, and more lies. His weak ass covered the first three years of the marriage and she covered down and gave him half of her check and paid the damn bills for the last two and a half years of the marriage. Okay? Sounds like some equal shit to me. He's supposed to be the motherfucking man. He should have paid the goddamn bills. The fuck? Lie number seven. 
she cheated on her husband while they were married multiple times. Lies, lies, and more lies, okay? She has never been unfaithful to anyone she's been in a relationship with, and that's including boyfriends. It's not her character. When she's with one person, she's with that one freaking person. She ain't the hoe that he's trying to make her out to be, okay? Not her. Lie number freaking eight. She lied about her molestation allegation when she was eight years old. Now, this is effing sick to my stomach right here. This fucking pisses me the fuck off that women would try to spread this lie. Starting with his fucking baby ass, big ass, overweight, golden teeth ass, fucking baby, no edges, having ass sister. Okay? She went through what she went through. And it's sick as hell for other women to say she lied about something that happened to her when she was eight years old and they punk ass wasn't nowhere around. Hating ass bitches wasn't nowhere around gonna say she lied about being molested at eight years old. Don't make no freaking sense. And it's even sicker and sicker that her soon to be ex he actually told her, and this is mental abuse right here. I should I should move this up to the category of mental abuse. This sick ass, weak ass, big teeth, skinny ass, duke on his back ass motherfucker, weak ass nigga, weak ass nigga, right? Told her that her molestation that happened at eight, that she probably enjoyed it. He told her that, that she probably enjoyed it. He told her that during an argument, right? Your molestation at eight, you probably enjoyed that shit. You weak bastard, you. You weak punk ass fucking bastard, you. Ooh, I want to say some other words so bad. But you weak ass bastard, you. Going to tell her that she probably enjoyed being molested at eight fucking years old. You weak ass. You the fucking weakest link motherfucking nigga I know. You a weak coward ass nigga you. I'm telling you. I hope the next girl fucking drag your ass. Ooh. I hope she drag you. I hope she cheat on you. I hope she do everything to you. For real, for real. Because you a sick, weak, coward ass nigga you are. That's what you are. A weak, coward ass nigga. Gonna tell somebody you hope they enjoy it. You a weak ass. Weak ass nigga, you. That's what you are. L lie number motherfucking nine. This is the shit that these punk ass bitches is telling their follow followers. Okay? Lie number nine. She's keeping her daughter away from her dad. Lies, lies, and more motherfucking lies. Her daughter's father, this weak ass bitch ass nigga, he don't want to be no daddy. He don't want to be no daddy. There is an agreement, a signed fucking agreement that he's supposed to get his daughter, his now four-year-old daughter, two times a week. And that was what he wanted, okay? She agreed to that. That is what he wanted. Two times a week, she agreed to it. They signed the dotted fucking line. His punk ass lived 10 minutes away. After the agreement was signed, this bitch ass, non-father game, duke on his back, weak coward ass nigga, has only kept his daughter once since he signed that agreement. Once. He don't even call to try to get her. Correction. He tried to get her on Father's Day to go take her to get ice cream after he was supposed to have her back. He was supposed to get her Friday, but he was recovering from his weak-ass birthday party that he had. Didn't get her Thursday, or excuse me, didn't get her Friday, didn't get a Saturday, and then call on Sunday and want to take her for ice cream. You know he just wanted pictures. He only want her for a couple of hours when he's supposed to get her twice a week. He don't want to be no damn daddy. Lie number 10. She turned his 15-year-old against her daddy. Lies, 
lies, and more effing lies. The 15-year-old actually witnessed Bri Brianna being abused in that house. That's why she came forward with her own thoughts and her own opinion. She was in the fucking house. She heard the yelling, the screaming. She was one of them trying to bust the goddamn door down to help Brianna while he holding her in the goddamn room. Trying to get her to listen and yelling and fussing and fuck in her face. All of these are lies. And these are lies that they made up, y'all, to make her look like the big bad wolf. All to protect a man that's 11 years her senior. That's what a lot of people don't understand and not even thinking about. This weak ass, bitch ass nigga is 11 years older than her and they're not even holding him accountable. His weak bitch ass, weak bitch ass. That's what he is. A weak bitch ass nigga he is. That's what he is. A weak bitch ass, deadbeat ass motherfucker is what he is. That's what he is. He only want to post old ass fucking photos. New if he can get them, right? New photos if he can get them. But he don't want to spend no time with his kids. They protecting an old ass motherfucking man, 11 years older than her. He look old as fucking dirt. He look old as fucking dirt, dirt sucked in and shit. That's what he looked like. Weak ass motherfucker. They want to try to protect this old ass nigga. He's wiser than she is because he's 11 years fucking older than her. He thinks quicker on his feet than she does because he's 11 fucking years older than her. A man that has never taken accountability for shit he's done wrong in his marriage. What type of decent ass woman want a punk ass motherfucking nigga like that? I wouldn't. Who would want a punk ass, sorry ass, lazy ass, non taken accountable nigga like that? Who wants a nigga like that? Who? Who? He's a weak ass man. Who wants a weak ass man that don't take accountability? For shit, I'm a perfect motherfucker. Ain't nobody perfect out there. But what man tells you they perfect? You better run. If you find old bomb ass nigga telling you he perfect, you better run. You better fucking run. He's a man that said he was faultless. Faultless, y'all. Faultless. Faultless ain't done a goddamn thing in six years of marriage, which we all know that that's not even fucking possible. How is it possible that you could be married for six years and you ain't done nothing wrong? You bitch ass liar, you. You bitch ass coward ass liar, you. You wuss of a nigga, you. That's what you are. A man that has been caught in lies, but is overlooked because they refuse to hold him accountable for shit. They baby him. They talk to him like he's a bitch ass boy. That's what he is. He needs somebody to hold his fucking hand. He's a bitch ass boy. A fucking wuss is what he is. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. Bitch ass boy. That's what he is. And this bitch ass boy. He went before a judge. And wanted. His daughter's mom. To face a felony charge. And go to jail for up to five years so that she can get her platform taken away because he's fucking jealous of her. He's jealous of her. He's mad. He wants her platform taken away. He wants her, and out of his own fucking mouth said, he wants her back in the state and not the state like the city state, but back in the state, back in the position that she was in when they first met. But he don't understand. 
She's elevated his punk ass. Is he going to take his ass back to being fat and over fucking weight? Looking like a ug mug, big teeth, ugly teeth ass motherfucker? Are you going to take your ugly ass back to the state that you was at? Back to the position in which you was? That you couldn't even see your fucking wee-wee because your nasty ass stomach was too big? Huh? You want to go back to that state? When you were selling CDs out your raggedy ass car? You want to go back to that state? When you was making sixty thousand dollars a year and you thought you was you thought you was big shit, she elevated your ass. She elevated your ass. You a good king. You ain't no fucking king. You a sorry ass, insecure ass, loser is what you are. You're not even no winner. You sing like shit. That shit sound horrible. Sound like a motherfucking dog crying on a stormy motherfucking night. That's what it sounds like. Horrible. You would never make it as an artist. The only thing you would be is a social media motherfucking singer. You non-book writing. non Accountability having non daddy figure. That's what you are. You a weak ass nigga. You are punk ass wuss is what you are. That's what you are. You a police boy. You snitch ass bitch. <laughs>